In our correlation map, vertices correspond to variables. The size of a vertex encodes its standard deviation. And the opacity encodes the accumulated correlation. The edge between two vertices represents the correlation between the two corresponding variables. Green color represents positive correlation, and red color represents negative correlation. The opacity of the edge encodes the correlation strength. Vertices are laid out by a mass spring model where spring forces are computed from the correlations. After the mass spring layout, variables with high correlations are drawn close to each other. The layout will provide an overview of the global correlation information. As we can see here all the categorical variables do not have strong correlations with others originally. To solve this problem, we devised a method based on multivariate multiple regression that transforms categories into numerical values and optimizes the pairwise correlations with the existing numerical variables. We can see that all the categorical variables gain correlations after the transformation. Then we can lay out the correlation map based on the new correlations. To make the changes of correlation more visible, we can encode the correlation sensitivity by color. Green encodes gaining correlation and red encodes losing correlation after the transformation. We can tell from this figure that most of the variables gain correlations after we apply our transformation algorithm. This is what we called correlation sensitivity map. Filtering operators are provided to reduce clutter effect. The R filter is used to filter out variables with low accumulated correlations. The standard deviation filter is used to filter out variables with low standard deviations. The edge correlation filter is used to filter out edges with low correlations, so that the users can focus on the highly correlated variables. Multi-scale zooming is supported in our framework. As users zoom out, close variables with positive correlations will be merged into one. Users can click on the merged variable to see the original ones and interactively set the variables should be merged or not. As users zoom back in, merged variables will be split into the original ones. Different browsing modes are provided to help users focus on what they are interested in. Such as the vertex browsing and edge browsing shown here. Here we are using the sales data set, in this data set, there are three sales teams, red, green, and blue. Each salesperson is a data point. We track a variety of parameters that can be used to rate performance, such as number of sales leads generated, number of leads won, cost per one lead, opportunities generated from the one leads, and the overall sales pipeline revenue. From our correlation map, we could have an overview of the correlations among the variables. It would be interesting to see how the sales teams actually performed. We devised a method that allows users to see this right in the correlation map. Our subspace scatter plot is generated by first tessellating the correlation map, and then projecting the data points using generalized barycentric coordinate. At first glance it becomes obvious that the blue team is quite different from the green and red teams, the latter two clusters overlap often while the blue cluster is disparate in most subspaces. In subspace 1 we observe that the red team's focus seems to be on generating many leads, but only few converted into opportunities. On the other hand, the blue and green team seem to have better priorities by focusing on opportunities instead of leads. In subspace 2 we learn that the blue team spends much money per one lead, but this does not seem to translate to high pipeline revenue. In this aspect the red and green teams do better. We now wish to get a more comprehensive picture about these issues and remove the edge separating these two subspaces. This generates subspace 3. Now we see the three teams well separated and learn that while the blue team does great on winning opportunities, it does poorest among all teams in terms of final pipeline revenue, while incurring more cost than the other two teams. Surprisingly, the red team, and also the green team to a lesser extent, despite the relatively few opportunities it creates, has a much better pipeline revenue emphasis than the blue team, possibly because it spends little money on its leads.